Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you an easy way how you can install IPTV Smart Earth Pro to your Fire Stick or Android TV. And without any further ado, let's see how you can get IPTV Smart Earth. First of all, you have to get an app called Unloader. You can get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on your Fire Stick or your Google TV and now start typing Downloader right here in the search. Usually, there's even no need to enter the whole name of the app because, as you can see, it already popped out for us at the bottom. So click on Downloader and here's the application which you need to install to your device. However, that's not it. We still have to set it up. To do so, we'll go to Settings. Here they are. Go to Settings, then go to My Fire TV. And here you have to go to developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks and especially on the new ones, developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the button for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which are going to appear right here. Open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet, and not necessarily from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, let's go to the list of apps on our device. And here we have the loader, which we just installed. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing, and it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great application for Fire Stick or Android TVs, and they're not expensive for such a premium service. In a VPN application, you just connect to any server, and from that moment on, all your internet traffic is encrypted, so nobody could track you or snoop on you. And from the moment you connect, your internet provider does not know what apps you are using, what websites are you visiting, or what videos you are watching online. And it's super important if you want to stay out of trouble online. And if you are interested in getting a VPN or giving NordVPN a try, I do have a special offer for you. If you use my promo link, which will be in the pinned comment below this video, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free which is an amazing deal. So go get that offer and then use the loader safely. Now let's open the loader application. On the left side menu, make sure to select home. And here in that search bar, we'll type a link, which is going to be iptvsmarters.com. You'll see a link on your screen in a moment. So here is the link. You can see it on the screen now. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes because otherwise the link is not going to work. And then press on go. In a couple of seconds, the website is going to open. Here it is. Now what we have to do is click on that sandwich button and click on the downloads link. Here, first of all, scroll down and you'll see a link to download the newest version of IPTV Smarters to your Fire Stick or Android TV. But if for some reason you want to use an older version of IPTV Smarters, you can scroll down more and here you'll find the old version of the application. However, today, of course, we'll be downloading the newest app version. So click on that direct download button or the apk file link and now we have started downloading the application. Then click on install in the right bottom corner and now the app is being installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV. Now the app has been installed but before actually clicking open I recommend you to click on done because here you will have an option to delete the installation file as you do not need it anymore. So click on delete and here delete once again. Now let's go to the list of apps on our device. Here it is, click on it. And here you'll find the IPTV Smarters app, which we just unloaded. I recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the bottom of three horizontal lines. Click on it and then click on move to front. This way the IPTV Smarters app is always going to be at the very top of your application list of your Fire Stick or Android TV. And this way is going to be way easier for you to access and find the application every time you want to find it. Now, once again, do not forget to use a VPN to stay safe. And then let's open IPTV Smarters application. Here you have to select your device type. And since we are using a Fire Stick, I'll select TV. Then you have to agree with a license agreement. And from here, it's actually very simple. If you want to add the M3U playlist, you do select that option. 
Here you have an option to give a name to your playlist and then either upload it as a file or use the usual M3U URL link. You have to put that link here in that bar and then click on Add Playlist button and then it's going to appear in a list of your playlists. Alternatively, of course, you can also use Xtreme codes. Here you can also enter a name for your playlist, then enter the username and password, which were given to you by your service provider, and then of course the link to your Xtreme code service. Then you click on Add Playlist and pretty much that's it. It's really simple. And then when you want to take a look at all of your playlists, you click on the list playlist and all of them are going to appear right here in that menu. And pretty much that's it, that's the easiest way to get a PTV Smart or Sierra Fire Stick or your Android TV. If the video was helpful, make sure to click on the like button so more people would see it as well. And see you next time. Bye bye.